Travel Thursday, Travel Thursday, Hanama Bay, finally. <laughs> Guys, we got a really, really important update today. But first, I need to ask a question. How many of you have tried to go to Hanama Bay anytime in the last several months and just been defeated? You show up and you see the sign, the parking lot is full, you don't understand because it's like 8 a.m. and you know that there's a reduced capacity but you don't exactly know how it works. We've tried going to Hanama Bay at least twice in the last month. We'd show up early and the parking lot attendant said, there's tickets. You have to show up at 6.45 a.m. and then just hope that you get a spot and then you just wait for your time. We had no idea how it worked, but now there's a new online reservation system. The process before, as Lisa was talking about, was literally just drive out at 6.45 in the morning. It didn't matter when you wanted to go to Hanama Bay. You still had to show up at around 6.30, 6.45 in the morning. And then you'd wait in this massive line of cars. There would be hundreds of cars just blocking the entirety of the road. And you'd just wait to go down to the parking lot, purchase your ticket, and your ticket could be for 10 a.m. or for 1 p.m. or whatever but you'd have to get your ticket, drive back out the parking lot, go back home, probably go back to sleep because you got up way too early, and then come back at the actual time that your ticket was for. It didn't make any sense. So now they have this new online booking portal and we're gonna show you live how to use it, where it is, and we're gonna put all the links down below. All right, here we go. Okay, we're at HanamaBayStatePark.com. I would also just like to say we didn't even find this information on purpose. I was on Instagram and Hawaii Magazine just happened to say, surprise, online reservation system. And I was like, yes. Went to HanamaBayStatePark.com, nothing about it here. There was one sentence about it. It says, State of Hawaii has started a new pilot program. <laughs> Very exciting. This definitely tells you everything you need to know. Not at all. You can go to the website HanamaBayStatePark.com and scroll all the way down to the FAQs to find the reservation system. Mm -hmm. Or you can just go to the Parks and Recreation Reservation System. Yeah, or just click the shortcut link that we got down below. It'll be much faster. But I just wanted to show you on here. Right now, they're having 720 guests allowed for any day or 120 an hour that they're open. So as we scroll down the page, all the way almost at the bottom, we'll keep going, we'll keep going here. Do I need to make a reservation? Yes, we do. All right, this brings you to the Department of Parks and Recreation website. It's free if you have a Hawaii state ID. Parking is first come, first serve, and it's cash only, so make sure to bring cash. It's $3 for non-locals and a dollar parking for Kamaina. So it's totally booked out for tomorrow. It looks like Wednesday, done. But let's go to Thursday. Looks like there's a couple available and they're kind of close to each other. So, I mean, shoot, we'll take them. We'll do these ones at the end of the day, I guess. This also, 130 and 140. It's so confusing because it says available and then it goes zero. <laughs> right. They all say available. So then you think, oh, there's so many free on all of these time slots. JK. All right. So you put in your info and we're saying we're getting two. Okay. So what we're doing here is quantity two This is for the two of us. $24 and actually one of them is an adult resident ticket and one of them is a non-resident ticket. So one of them is free, one of them is $12. That's how we do it in here. So you can reserve for like two tickets for one slot? Yeah, so this was confusing for us. So it'll show how many slots there are available and each slot can have up to five adult and five child tickets. So if it only shows one as the availability, that actually means that you could have 10 total people coming with you at this time. It's just one booking for one person. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that that meant that you would have to go at 10.30 and I would go at 11. Yeah, that's the way it looks like at first, for sure. All right, so we're going on here. All good to go. We got two tickets. Place our order. Play. Hello? Place our... Ah! Ba -ba. I don't... Something... Oh, okay, no. so somebody has booked out our day that we wanted to go. All right, we're heading back, I guess. Speed run, speed run. Oh. Oh no. So no. here it is. Just as we, uh, just as we had fretted, it looks like there's only one ticket available at any given time. So it turns uh, out the slots are actually. Yeah. So what limited. we, what we had originally thought were just slots. This is a very confusing. Again, they just released this today, so it looks like you're going by yourself. No. Okay. <laughs> Yay, we did it. We got a spot for Lisa to go and see it, but not for me. Try again, try again. So I won't get to go. 
Okay, so that's it. That's how the reservation system works. It looks like they still got some kinks to work out for sure And it seems like their availability of like quantity of tickets is pretty low. We'll see what happens We'll do another video when we actually get to go to Hanama Bay and actually buy the ticket and show that we can go Apparently this is just to make a reservation But you actually pay for the tickets when you get there Right, which I think is why these things are booked out so early because you don't have to pay online so you don't have to prove that you're actually gonna go online. So probably people are just going on here, buying as many tickets as they can, and then they might have a spot to actually go to see Hanama Bay. That's how hard it's been to get there. This process is kind of similar to the Pearl Harbor reservation system. You can only book out your tickets at a certain time. So for the Hanama Bay Reserve, you can only book up to 48 hours in advance. So if you know that there's a date that you wanna go, we would suggest setting an alarm for 48 hours beforehand, go to the site and try to secure your tickets. We just found this out, so We'll keep you updated as things change and let you know when we finally get to go. Thanks for tuning in to another Travel Thursday. We just thought this was some cool news that literally just came out today. Best of luck with the new online booking system. Hopefully they make some changes to make it a little easier to use in the near future. But for now, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Goggles, so awkward. <laughs> Do I look dorky? Yes. I can't even see. How do I look? I just, I know I, I don't need these to see, but like, what's the point if I can't see? <laughs> oh, I'm a little. Hi, kitty. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say.